All right, y'all, what's going on? First off, let me say thank you, thank you. Thank you, channel finally broke 200 subscribers. We're growing. We're on that road to 500. I appreciate all your support. If you're new to my channel, do me one favor before we even start the video. Hit that subscribe button right there, right there. Let's just hit that subscribe button for me, all right? It'll help us continue to push, it'll help us continue to grow. As you guys requested, the Skin Mohawk coming up right now. Please continue to leave your comments below. Like, share, subscribe, tell everybody about the channel, and let's grow as a family. Let's go. All right, Colin Kaepernick, let's see what we got. Oh my God, Jesus, Lord help us. Time to save another one. So as you guys can see, he got some thin, fine hair as it is. It's gonna be a project. So we're gonna start with the number four guard, open. And take it all down, cutting side to side, going over, repeat passes. Since he's got that fine hair, we wanna make sure we get each individual hair. Making sure that that guard scoops up all the hair, ensuring that we get it to four and a half, since that's what a four guard open is. Using that comb. Now for me, I like to use a comb if it's anything over a two. I use a brush if it's anything under a two. Here I'm using my wall magic clips. As you see, I'm cutting in different directions. Combing the way. We're gonna start, we're doing the skin mohawk, so we're gonna start with doing the V in the back. Now this was kind of difficult to do with the camera in the way, making sure that I, you know, got this right in the middle of, of his head, the V to the middle of his head, but uh, we got it done surprisingly. We're gonna start by marking the V. You use the trimmers first. Once you get that V down packed, it's nice and even, proportionate. You're gonna come back with the shaver, as you guys will see in a little here. Take out all that excess hair. And now here, you can just use the, straight, the shaver straight up. Don't have to worry about using it any individual way. If you watch some of my previous videos, you know I use the shaver with the green first and then go against it. We're gonna start our first guard line using the no guard open. So when you're doing mohawks, mohawks really rely on the corners of your blade. So if you notice, I kind of pivot the clipper there from one, net, one corner to the other corner. So here I'm using the left side of the clipper. When you see I start to get towards the front of the side, I'll start using the right side of the clipper, making sure I'm just using the corners to give it that natural arc. Brushing away debris left over here. Making sure that we get everything laced down to half even. I'm gonna use my 5-0 detachable. Using my Andy Super ZRs. I'm gonna pull that skin. Gives me a little bit more room. It also ensures that you know, I can get the proper um, cut with the 5-0. Don't miss any hairs. And like I say, he's got that fine hair, so we gotta be real, gotta be really accurate with this one. And I'm keeping the consistent guideline all the way through. Here I'm gonna use the shaver going down with the grain at first. I'm gonna flip it. I'm gonna use the corner of the shaver as well here, as you guys can see. Using just the corner. Same method all the way through. No guard closed. If you, guys are, if you guys aren't good with your corners and you're struggling with mohawks, that's gonna be the problem right there. Um, when I first started out, I was really bad at mohawks. You can ask Christian Perez. Um, I could fade, but mohawks were not a, a strong suit of mine. And one thing that uh, uh, Abby Fernandez, AB Fernandez, if you guys follow him on YouTube, he actually took the time, you know, to tell me, hey, I notice you, you're not using your corners when you're doing your mohawk. So he took the time to, to show me on that. So shout out to AB, man. I appreciate that, bro. Came a long way since then. <laughs> and we're gonna use three and a half detachable just, just so I can see a little bit more and so I know how high to bring um, the rest of my guards. 
I'm gonna bring it up to right about the crown area and then follow the same consistency as far as spacing all the way through. And I got the one guard open. Making sure I got the same consistency all the way through. That's the one thing about Mohawks, you gotta make sure you have even spacing between your guidelines. I got it closed, just like I did with the no guard um, when it was closed before. I'm just gradually opening up the blade. I'm going from closed and working my way back up to open. Still using my corners. Softening that blend as I continue to open the lever. Then I'm gonna pass back with the 116 guard closed, using the corners, and open it up a little bit more. In the dark areas, just do a little touch up work, just the corner. Two guard open, really not cutting any hair, but just to make sure I didn't miss anything, because like I said before, he's got that fine hair. Two guard open goes right into my three and a half, detachable, so. I'm gonna close it. I'm gonna pass back with the one and a half card open. Heavy on those corners. I'm gonna repeat this over and over again, just so you guys can get it. Make sure you're using your corners. It will help you so much with fading. Makes a world of difference. Here I'm gonna close the lever. Stand right under the one and a half guard open. See the blends coming along. And there's still a little bit of weight from what I can see. And this is something that you guys are gonna develop over time as you guys continue to cut hair and get those reps in. You'll start to develop what we like to call the barber's eye. We start seeing a little darkness. So as you can see, I put the one guard open, maybe just a little bit under fully open, just to um, knock out those dark spots that I was seeing that weren't coming out with the one and a half guard close. Clip over comb time, not a favorite. Now yeah, since he had the four and a half guard on top, I technically could have ran a four through it. Um, there's different ways you could have attacked this. I just wanted to use clip over comb, try to get a close up angle for you guys. Got a few requests to do a little bit more clip over comb uh, techniques. I need to find myself a white carbon comb. It would have made this haircut a lot easier. So if you guys want to take advantage of that, um, I mean, this is my favorite comb, so I use it all the time. But as you can see, I do a little detail work in the front there. But since he has dark hair as it is, if I would have had a white comb or a red comb or a different color comb, I would have been able to see the hair a little bit easier, which would have made that clip over comb process just a little bit faster. We've got the same result, but just a little faster. So if you guys are getting into the clipper over comb uh, techniques, I would recommend, you know, a light comb for dark hair and vice versa with, you know, blonde hair. And if you guys notice the way I'm holding the comb on the back side of here, you don't want to be holding it like this and trying to get all crazy with it, you know. Just make it so that you're comfortable when you're doing clipper over comb and so you can achieve the proper blend. This is just one way you can do it. I'm only gonna do one side of his head here, so you're gonna apply the same techniques on the other side as well. So as you guys can see, I already knocked down his beard, or what little beard he did have. He got in trouble at work for facial hair, so we gotta take it down. And he's not getting the razor, so in this video, I'm only gonna be using my trimmers. So you'll see I'll get a little bit more detailed with it than I normally do. Um, I usually rely on my razor work, but sometimes you have clients that just don't want the razor, so. Hey, they're paying clients, man. You gotta give them what they ask for. So, you know, we still get the same effect. You 
the same thing on this side. Just give you guys a glimpse that the other side came out the same way. Consistency is key when it comes to mohawk guys. Remember that. And the final product, got the skin fade mohawk. Just want to say thank you to everybody. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys subscribe, like, comment, share. Let everybody know about the channel as we continue to grow. Thank you guys. Stay tuned. Chris Loco.